Loading a three-piece IOL is very similar with a couple differences. We'll usually be using a B cartridge, I think B for big, and we can still see our reminder for orientation of the IOL on the cartridge here. So just like last time, we'll open the IOL, we'll place a little bit of cohesive OVD both on the optic portion and off to the side. Remember, that's to dip it to make sure the entire IOL is covered. Then, just like last time, we're going to fill this cartridge both from the front and the back with that cohesive OVD just to make sure the entire cartridge is full. This time though, we're going to take our non-toothed forceps and very carefully lift the IOL by the optic. We really want to avoid touching the haptics, they're usually made out of PMMA and very, very fragile. We're going to dip the other side of that optic in that OVD just like last time. And this time it's even easier. We're going to just insert the IOL, checking orientation again, into the cartridge. As we put that IOL on, we can maybe start seeing right now, there's this little peg or post at the back of the B cartridge for these three-piece IOLs. See it highlighted here. And the reason we have this is to tuck that trailing haptic over that peg. Again, we're being very careful because this is all usually very fragile PMMA that's very susceptible to bending or breaking. And the reason that we tuck that trailing haptic over the peg is when we again snap into place here and feel the snap, we start advancing the plunger. Notice the plunger isn't hitting that trailing haptic now, and it's nice and out of the way because again, very fragile. So as we start advancing now, we can see that the leading haptic is in its Z orientation and the trailing haptic is straight. So once we start engaging that screw portion and twisting, we can see by the mark on the IOL, it's moving towards the edge of the injector and it will be ready for implantation.